Hi everyone, James here from Zen Software. I wanted to give you a quick heads up because next week is the release of Backup Assist version 10 and with that release will be a, a brand new add-on. It's the, it's the Cloud Backup add-on and it allows you to back up direct to the, uh, the multi-million pound data center infrastructures of uh, Microsoft Azure and Amazon S3. So if you look inside the interface now, you'll see there's a brand new Cloud Backup option and uh, if you click on that, you'll see there's two new destinations. What's so special about the add-on? Well, we're really excited because this is the first time we're seeing the brand new backup uh, technology. It's, it's a totally new engine that's driving this add-on. Um, and uh, it's exciting for three reasons. Number one, it's really fast. So because of the way it breaks down all of your files into, into tiny chunks, in our tests, even moving a virtual machine, both the initial full backup and the incrementals absolutely fly. Number two, it's efficient. Now, I know that's a bit of a marketing buzzword. It really is true with this. Um, it offers both deduplication and compression. So if you're paying for your storage uh, by the gigabyte, you'll be pleased to know there's, there's massive savings in terms of what's actually stored at the destination end. Number three, it's secure. So it's all stored in unrecognizable chunks, as I mentioned, but in addition, you can also encrypt the backup at the point it's created. In fact, you have to. So even if the cloud providers did want to get access to your data, then really there's nothing they could do with it. So are there any gotchas? We like to give you the honest version, warts and all. The only drawback at the moment is that if you want to pull back an individual file from, say, a, a virtual machine that you've backed up, you're going to need to pull back the full VHD, the full VM, uh, in order to get to that file. So it's not really designed for granular backup at this stage. I'm sure a few of you are starting to panic about now if you're avid users of rsync. Well, don't worry, rsync's not going anywhere. It's still included. The off-site add-on, as it was known, is now going to be called the Cloud Backup Add-on, so that's all there is. If you're a, an owner of the previous add-on, then you automatically get the upgrade to the new version completely free. As far as we're concerned, they're different things. Uh, your your rsync add-on is all about backing up to private cloud destinations like your NAS boxes or servers, whereas this is about taking advantage of you know the, the massive public cloud providers like Microsoft and, and Amazon. So how much does this cost? Well, in terms of the add-on, there is a slight increase. The old add-on was £75. This one comes in at 105 As always, that's only a one-off cost, unless, of course, you're buying the standalone version. That comes in at 120 uh, and there is a renewal associated with that as well if you were to be using it. But if you're just using the add-on with Backup Assist, then, as always, Backup Assist is the only thing that you renew. So you might be thinking, shall I just go cloud only then and, and do away with my local backups entirely? Every scenario is different, of course, but we'll be recommending a combination of the both because the, the benefits of local backup are hard to ignore. You've got that fast access to files, or the granular access to files, um, whereas really this off-site backup element is another layer you want to be adding to your strategy, which gives you, you know, a, a disaster recovery option if things do go really pear-shaped. Okay, so as I mentioned, next week is launch. Uh, it's Tuesday the 16th will be when the product is available generally. If you want to take a look at the trial and you're already on a backup assist installation, then just drop an email to sales at zensoftware.co.uk. And of course, if you just want to trial uh, backup assist and the add-on together on a fresh machine, then download it as normal via our website. Okay, that's about it from me. Just to wrap up, um, for us, this was all about really the, the cloud backup stuff, but there is some other features in version 10 not to be ignored. There's some advanced Hyper-V backup, better help and signposting around the product. So make sure you take a look at the blog post. I'll link it in the notes. I hope you found that useful. Um, please feel free to subscribe as always. And uh, if you've got any questions, we'll make sure we answer them promptly if you want to add them in the comments below. Thanks very much and uh, look out for more video updates from us.